Oh, God. Everyone looks all beat up. They all look like they got the shit beat out of them. You have an IV for some reason. I'm still in a coma. Then how the hell are you talking to me right now? I don't know, Mr. Tulip. I don't know. Maybe you should ask the wombat right next to you. Well, you might be fucked up, kid, but at least you're better off than that guy over there. Hey, now. I am okie dokie. I am good to go. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Are you sure? Uh, you got a chain embedded into your chest. I think it's really deep in there. I thought for sure you were dead. I'm almost dead, baby. I'm clinging to life. Just like that little boy over there. Whoever the hell he is. That's the son of Baron Strucker you're talking about. Warner Braun Strucker. Alright, he has a prestigious lineage. And I'm trying to keep him intact so he can discuss what his resolution is for next season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh -huh. I don't want to be on the next season. Hey, you, you, you crazy talk, kid. You're still loopy on the meds, all right? You gotta snap out of it, all right? You gotta, you gotta focus on what you want for the future, all right? What you want for your life, all right? You got so much to live for. You want me to keep going, is that right? While you are no longer going. At least, you're no longer going on our side. You switched over to the hero side. I see you getting a little better. All right, all right. Yes, I dabbled in a little bit of heroism this season, all right? It happens to the best of us, okay? We all like to dabble a little bit, you know? We all like to dip our toes into heroism every now and then. It's, it's human nature, all right? But funny you mentioned that, because that's a part of my new season resolution. To get my toe out of that water, I'm gonna make sure that I am no longer on their side, alright? My new season resolution is to make sure that I go back 100% down the supervillain route, okay? No longer will be 70% in the superhero path, no. It's gonna be fully, completely, 100% no, 140% down super villainy. No secret warriors for me, okay? Especially evident by the fact that apparently they're all supposed to be just inhumans. I guess. I don't know. And if that's true, then good! That means I don't have to be a part of it, alright? That's my new season resolution. So you heard mine, now it's time for yours. Oh, fine. My new season resolution is to be fully alert, okay? And to be completely 100% conscious, okay? All right. Oh, there, you you got my resolution. Are you happy? Oh. You're huffing and puffing like a typical teenager. Or early 20s or whatever the hell you are. My alertness comes and goes. Like, for instance, it's about to go right now. Oh god, now you're all loopy again. Ugh. Well, at least the spiky guy seems to be completely alert. Of course I am. And the reason why I keep pushing myself to stay alive is because of two things. My love for Melinda May. But that's the first thing. The second thing is the gratification of knowing that my sacrifice was not for nothing. Because if it wasn't for my rescue of Scott.
Mecha Quake, the death of the evil tyrant known as Hav would have never happened. And knowing that I helped destroy Hav is what keeps me going. As long as I keep those two things in my heart, in my mind, I'm gonna still live. And I'm gonna make sure that I pull this chain out of my body. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't. Because it's next to a bunch of organs. Hey, what's that noise I hear? Something falling from really, really far away. Like, like space. Something's falling from space, and it's about to land right here in the studio! Oh, fuck. Ugh, gross, it's a little wormy worm. I don't think that's a worm. I think that's something else. But I really hope it's not what I'm thinking it is. Hello, all of you insignificant insects. I am Hive. Oh no! Oh look, it's the inhuman who tried to kill me. Well, guess what? Your sacrifice was for nothing, because I am still alive. Yes, I was able to squiggle myself away from that ship as it was exploding and I have returned my glorious return was imminent well I just lost the will to live I think my spirits have been completely broken by the fact that Hav is still around and that discouraged me so much that I am losing the will to live. I think I'm dead. Oh fuck, that was really depressing as all fuck. You should be ashamed of yourself, Hive. I'm glad you're nothing but a little wiggly worm now. Stop reminding me that I am nothing but a worm now. I used to be a Mayan warrior until those Kree scientists transformed me into this worm you see before you. But I can metamorphosize. After all, I was able to metamorphosize with the help of Ward. But he is no longer here. He has exploded. Hey, good riddance. He was nothing but a teen hot throb. It should have been a badass gritty villain like me. Ah, thank you for volunteering to be my new host. Oh, fuck. You can't use me as a host. I can turn into metal. I can turn into any kind of element. And you wouldn't be able to be compatible with that because you're organic. You have a point. Well, I can't possess this corpse because he is an inhuman. I can only possess the bodies of humans. So I guess I'll go for your little young friend over there. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'm all for it. No, 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 okay, no, 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 not him either, okay, he's still alive. And besides, you, you probably can't even possess us living beings. You, you probably can only possess corpses, right? I guess I am very compromised. Please, sir, won't you be so charitable? I am dying. I need a host to survive. I am about to die if you don't spare me a body. Uh, I was supposed to make sure that everyone had a resolution, but so far it's only been me and Strucker Jr. over here. And uh, it's so sad to see Lash die, 
which means that he never got to have a resolution because he's dead. And I don't want to see the same thing happen again with you. Fine. I'll give you a body to inhabit so you can keep living and have a resolution. But since neither of us are dead, you're gonna have to settle with a villain from another show in the MCU. Leyland Owsley. Oh, he is all decomposed. He is in horrible condition. <laughs> he ought to be. He died over a year ago. But keep in mind, you're in slim pickings. So this is all you got. <sighs> Fine. I'll settle with the rotting owl. Actually, this isn't that bad. This is actually very nice. I actually quite like this new body. It was quite of a bit of a fixer-upper, but I managed to adjust it for my specifications quite well. Oh god, that was disgusting! I hope you were unconscious for that, Warner! I, I kind of was, but then I came to right as he was morphing and all that squiggliness. Oh god, I'm gonna throw up! No! You're gonna throw up all your medicines! Alright, Hive, I let you live, but I did it so that you can have a resolution. Now spill it! Okay, okay, I will comply with your human needs. Enhanced human needs. Right, right, right. My resolution for next season is to make sure that I am the only contrivance used to keep the actor Brett Dalton on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show. Brett Dalton played Ward, but as soon as he died, the Producers decided to use me as an excuse to keep the actor. But now, I fear that there's going to be a different contrivance for next season to keep him on the show. Androids. Oh uh, yeah, life model decoys. Yes, they might use a life model decoy that resembles Ward, and that will be the way to continue using that actor, but I say nay, it shall always be me to be used as the contrivance for him still being there. So I will make sure to destroy every single life model decoy that gets in my way from being the only contrivance for keeping Brett Dalton on the show. Now that's a resolution. All right. You might be disgusting as all hell, what with your Cthulhu face, but you're all right in my book. Thank you for the compliment, enhanced human. I appreciate it. Do you have any more to give me? Um, I guess you're like the inhuman equivalent of Apocalypse. Oh, that is very complimentary. And it's also timely! Hey now, speaking of big budget superhero movies in the summer of 2016, Apocalypse isn't the only one. You're right! There's also Teenage Mutant Ninja Titles! If you're gonna keep being a wise guy, you're gonna end up like Knuckles over here. Not alive. <laughs> 